What's up guys? All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to position yourself in Rainbow Six Siege. So we're talking about positioning. I've been, I've been asked to make this video for quite some time, so we're going to get to it. Uh, basically, we're going to go over what to look at, when to look at, and how you should be moving. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So let's talk positioning. So let's say the site is in here in the CEO office, right? And we're going to enter in from square. So positioning. So let's say you drone out, things are clear or whatever. You're gonna want to leave a drone forward for it to make to watch, or you can check the drone forward like so, leave it there, or leaving a drone, let's say on your flank, so you can watch the flank if someone dies, but like, hey, watch my square flank. Boom, like that. So when you walk into the store, one side of this map to the other. You're gonna wanna check default spots where people can stand. Just as you go along, just wanna check everything. Even if you've already drowned out, it's clear. Just making sure isn't a bad thing because they could retake. Like let's, remember when we put that drone over there? Maybe he might be around this corner. So what I'll do is making sure no one's close. Then you know no one's close. Then you push forward. Making sure everything is good to go as you swing around. I did drone stock, so you're gonna wanna check. All right, stock clear. Going through. Sometimes, we're, sometimes I'll, I'll wanna burn utility just to make sure. Going through like this this is how i would kind of walk around the map so game position really is just putting yourself in a spot where you are ready to take an active engagement wherever you're at don't be the guy that's caught if you're dying while you're full sprint you are out of position you are not ready for the firefight you are probably gonna lose that firefight the chance that you're gonna be a full sprint and they're like oh like you're not gonna win that you have to have gun up as you come around into the unknown. If it's not droned, and you have no idea if someone's there, don't be afraid to have your gun up because you're gonna win a lot more firefights when you're not. But let's talk something a little bit more advanced. So, when you pick a corner, make sure to always check where someone might be at. Always check. As you come around, you're checking, you're rechecking, making sure of everything as you come around. All right, so how do you deal with this guy that's pushing like that? So as he comes around the corner like this, let's say I'm defending, right? So this is a very predictable firefight. And yes, you might be able to win this, but it's going to be very obvious though instead of being like specifically here you could be playing a little bit more of a soft angle like so up through that because you can set this up during prep they'll so play more of a soft angle like this so you can watch them as they cross up and you can just kind of pick them out if you know they're not at the 90 yet you could just kind of like be out in the middle somewhere just like completely obvious that like, but most of the time people are going to peek like this they're going to check like this and then you're gonna just gonna be standing in the middle and catch them completely off guard. It works a lot more than you guys think. Or being somewhere a little weird that most people wouldn't expect, but if they do quick peek you, don't be afraid to keep shooting at them so you can reposition slightly. Well, let's say someone's coming for the 90. I can go somewhere like here. Guy at 90 is gonna peek over like so. And I'm gonna be there and I'm probably going to dumpster myself. So don't be afraid to be a little bit wacky, be a little bit more exposed. Because if you have confidence in your aim, confidence in your crosser placement, you will turn out on top most of the time. 
But let's talk about pacing in Rainbow Six Siege. There's three minutes to every round, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is within the first minute, you're gonna wanna find your entry access point. So first minute of the round, I'm gonna be outside this door, droning in, making sure I'm good, making sure top square is good. If I'm gonna push down this way, let's say I'm gonna push through it this time. I'm gonna join top square. No, I'm fairly good. Boom. Burning down. I didn't see anybody, so we should be good. So first minute of the round, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Next minute of the round, you're getting to a spot where you can start to execute on site, but you're not quite on site yet. The next minute of the round, I'm trying to get to where my drone got to. Always re-drown. Don't be afraid to re-drown. Just to be clear, because someone could easily retake. All right, and then next minute of the round, the last minute of the round, you're gonna want to coordinate with your support, or if you're the support, coordinate how you guys are getting to plant down. So we want that wall open to go for a plant here, maybe. So normally I'd go for a plant like so, and plant here. Next minute of the round, while having someone cover me from the side. So make sure you're paying attention to the timer. A lot of people won't pay attention to the timer. That will help you a lot with positioning, not getting in cut off guard, and make sure to really play off your teammates because your teammates might be playing a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow. Play off your teammates. If you don't, you'll be left in a 1vx, aka like a 1v3 or 1v4, which is un basically unwinnable and you're probably gonna lose the round, or you're gonna be first one dead and while your teammates are still on the roof droning. Make sure to coordinate with your team, whether you're solo queue or stacked, et cetera, it doesn't really matter. Just you can coordinate off your team by looking at what they're doing and kind of gauging how you should be going off of them. All right, now we're going to have a few examples of general positioning, and we're going to be talking about why I position myself in a certain way to achieve a maximum result. All right, let's talk about my positioning on Clubhouse. So I'm on the hatch, I've got the shield and the ADS. I'm on the hatch here. So I know there's a guy mannequins that he's gonna be dealing with the floor. So he's gonna know to be positioned either running back through blue or he's going to be close up on the mannequin. So I know that he won't be on the death angle. So I can probably get into position where I can take a shot at him and I have my crosser up and take him out. He sees me coming, but he's just rotating back over as the floor as drone goes off. And I knew from earlier that there was one in dirt. So I'd make sure to check because I'm just gonna hold him here. Just waiting for the guy to come out and I catch him there. Two easy firefights without having to really flick at anybody. Going forward, I drop because there's nobody else watching. I know from Vert that there's no one under the hatch. I kill the guy mannequins and I kill the guy dirt. So that another guy might come from blue, might flank the hatch or is going to come through church. So I drop, watching blue, watching church. I swing out, I take one out. At box two, who rotated in from blue. I saw the next guy rotate in from blue as well, and I engage him, take him out. So nothing there was overly like flicky. I didn't do anything crazy. I just had my crosser up, used my game knowledge, and got a 4K. As I pushed forward with confidence, and uh, yeah, took the round. All right, guys, here's another play on Chalet. I'm playing in the master bedroom. I see one on the big window repel. I'm gonna throw a Nitro unpunishable so i throw a nitro either a i miss the nitro or b it kills him go for it take him out so i know that as i do this someone might come through solar so i have my gun up ready for it i'm listening to my audio i hear someone getting close to the solar door i'm ready for a gunfight take him out and because he just pushed up i know there's probably another one close by ready for the refrag so instead of staying here and swinging out on the door or hiding in the corner i instantly run away Reposition, don't even reload my gun, and get ready for the second guy. Take him out. Caught him completely off guard there. All right, here's another situation on Cade. Right here. So we're holding up top. I think the uh, site is kitchen. I hear one on the big window repel. So this is a little bit risky. I take some shots at the big window because most of the time people are going to be on the repel either on the bottom or at the top. I take some slap shots near the bottom and end up killing someone. Let's see the wire. And so we got another one's on the, you're just following the wire, get the shots. None of those shots were crazy or flicky or anything. I just followed the wire where the guys were at. So I rotated down the solar staircase here, right afterwards to hold the solar. 
the west mid walk i shoot one in the back because i'm in a, a decent position because he came over droned out one of my teammates who uh he knew it was in dining or kitchen so he swung out trying to find him did not know that i was on the solar staircase i'm completely off guard there i rotate around and I just take some pot shots at the last guy so nothing i did there is was incredibly complex it was just really what would you do as in that situation as an attacker like you're trying to get those early picks on the windows you're trying to refrag your teammates be one step ahead and it'll pay off all right here's another situation on theme park it is a 2v3 i know one's coming up yellow or going to walk in through the vault so i wait i hear audio coming up yellow so i swing out he has no idea i'm there completely catch him off guard making it a 2v2 so now i see one shooting from the left side but i heard audio down the hallway so i know someone is in this hallway in some capacity or he rotated around as an initi i don't hear anything initi so i'm assuming there's a guy in the hallway as well as one hard left of the door so i swing out i see one stand up he was in an awkward spot i had no idea that he was there but I was ready for it. I was. I knew that there was a guy in this general vicinity, and I take him out. And I know that the next one is to the left. We take him out too. All right, here it is a two v three again, and I'm Maverick. I put some holes in the wall, looking for somebody. I'm putting some pressure into break because I am going to probably pressure in through the big door. My teammate finds a kill on the guy that we were just shooting at. So I just push him through. I take some shots. So here. I know there's one going to probably be because my teammates here alive had to take a gunfight. So no one's in cafe and no one's probably near the top arcade. So he's either near the door in the corner of sight and the other guy was behind the bomb. So I think we might have downed him there. So I push in. I have no idea where this next guy is. He's prone under the door. I was not ready for this firefight, but I kept my crosser up because I knew that there was going to be enemy nearby and take them both out. All right, here is a little bit more of an aggressive play. So coastline, I'm pushing through. Sometimes people like to sit near the security door going for a spawn kill or waiting to see what's happening with the door. So he's taking shots down that way. And I uh, end up getting a lucky shot there, but... All right, so I push in because that was the only guy that was going to be in office. I hear shots from the Oryx as I come in. So there's an Oryx in uh, so the security room but i am fairly confident one was in blue bar i had a call that one was in blue bar he's marked i swing it aggressively he had no idea that i was going to push in because he threw the nitro he threw the nitro thinking that was going to kill me but i didn't stop i didn't wait on the door i swung in all the way through he wasn't ready for me to make it through that door we take him out so now we know the oryx was security i swing over oryx swings out we take him out here this grenade isn't meant to kill anyone this is just going to make a hole in the wall so i can peek aggressively through it so we have a mark on an enemy behind the bomb i swing out we take him out and then it is last guy as i kill a guy in kitchen what one person is going to do is he's either a going to be cakes b going to be near the rotate for a refrag or b he's probably going to swing the bathroom door i'm going to go in through bathroom while keeping my gun up on bathroom as i swing over just making sure that he's not there and he is there so like i said nothing we did there was incredibly complex that was an ace this time and uh nothing i did was like flicky or you don't need incredible aim training for anything like this just use your brain logic them down work together with your team and uh everything should be good so here's another aggressive clip in fpl someone's going for a spawn kill i have my gun up take it out i did not see him whatsoever but if you think someone's there, don't be afraid to use some ammo. Worst case scenario, you're gonna use some bullets. So then I entry in through the basement. I come up, I get a call that one's near the red 90. So I have cross her up looking for the guy that's gonna be red 90. I, I see red footprints. So I know that he's very close. He's either in the piano or in the hallway. See now that he clearly walked this way. He's definitely in the red 90, but I didn't know that at the time. He comes over. And I take him out. I'm I'm ready for a firefight here because I, I know that he's very close by. So I'm ready. I instantly get away from the beat and go for the kill. So I go up the red staircase. I get feet. I know that he's in the stat. I take him out. 
So here, they're swinging out aggressively because they, they either have to A, swing back to where my team's at. My team is in statue. So, or sorry, master. And they don't want to deal with them. So instead they're going as a power swing me. So I knew that the gunfight was probably going to be around here. So I, I aim in that spot and he swings out. Take him out. So running down. To the 90 cam. We don't know where the enemy's at. We get a ping. Boom. He's at the top red 90. And uh, teammates down. Now it's a 1v1. We have feet scan. I'm pushing forward because this would be a very awkward spot for me to be. If he peeked out from this hallway, normally he'd expect me to be all the way down the hallway or like on the right side. So I make sure to be on a really exposed spot, but I have my crosser up. So when he swings out, I'm going to get a lot of meat on him. He swings out. He had no idea I was walking up that close. We get his entire body in frame and we take him out. So the biggest thing to realize guys is with game positioning, you want to be where they don't expect you to be. If you catch them off guard, if you ever cross her up, most of the time you will win. All right guys, that's all for today for general game positioning. So when you're in a game, make sure you're paying attention to the timer, where you're positioning your body, make sure you have your gun up. So if you get into a gunfight, you're ready for it and you're not caught off guard. All right guys. Till next time.